y'all, I walked all the way back to my truck to get to my truck. The shoes that I'm wearing in my truck. And my shower shoes are already in the bag the whole time. The whole time. I had to get somebody to let me in because um, my cone had turned out. I get loves you get like 15 minutes here. It's like two or three. I'm in pipe or flying jet. One of the two. Up for my shower, feeling all fresh and clean. I'm driven about four hours, which equates to about 200 miles or 279 if I just looked it up. So, to drive for another four, five, maybe six hours and um, stop at somebody rest area today. So, I haven't told y'all, but I'm going to Iowa. I'm excited about it because I've never been to Iowa before. And, uh, yeah. So come along on this journey. I got about, about a thousand miles total. And so uh, we're gonna work this out. Today, not this morning. Um, I had the worst toothache last night. I could not sleep. So anyway, I ended up sleeping in because I don't want to get on the road tired, right? Um, at this point, if I left right now, I have to complete my pre-trip though. So basically, my time will be slated for me to get there at 1230. I have until three or two. Um, and I'm sure I'll have to stop and get fuel at some point. So maybe add 15 to 30 minutes to that. But, so I'll make my appointment. Um, but I'm gonna do a 34, I think, after this load. So it'd be cool to uh, step out in Iowa and see what it has to offer. I'm definitely gonna try to go to the Iowa 80 truck stop. You'll see more about it if I make it there because it's like in that same area. Um, so yeah, let's, let's see how this is. Um, also, the other thing is too, the reviews were saying, it's two different reviews that said not to follow the GPS. But they both had like conflicting ways as to how to get to the warehouse. So we'll see how that ends up working out. But I'm 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 positive that it's gonna all, you know, be fine and well. Oh, that's messy. All of that messiness. It's, excuse that mess. I'm I'm gonna get my life together, okay? Alright. Sneeze, but I'm ready to hit the road. I'm at the truck stop that I stayed at last night. Really nice place, really clean. Um easy parking i mean depending on you i've i've made it as well it would have been either way easy parking <laughs> um bathrooms are clean showers i don't know i had already showered but they look nice um inside of the store is clean anyway i'm headed to iowa to my delivery the outside i stopped at the rest area to uh use the restroom and do a 30 i'm gonna go ahead and just knock the 30 out because it's so windy, I open my door and it like flung open. And I've been getting blown to bits too. Um, but I wash my hands. I don't use the air dryer because I have my little qualms about that. I won't go into it, but. So my hands were wet and I had to walk maybe, I don't know the distance, like half a football length back to my truck. My hands are frozen. They, they hurt, <laughs> they hurt. Woo! And I don't know how to do this walking with no jacket on here. I know he called because it's just balled up. Yeah. I just want to show y'all that I hit 665,801 miles. So congratulations to me. Because when I got this truck, I was at 29 something. So, But I stopped to get fuel real quick at a Thornton's. You can't see it. But just trust and believe it's a Thornton's with pilot um, fuel or diesel or whatever. So y'all probably know where I am in Illinois. Um... But yeah, we, we almost there. I only have like an hour left to drive. I'm ready to be there already though. I'll stop because I want to get my $200 on the fuel. I don't want to go over because I got to watch my weight, right? So I stopped it on the opposite side. And it was still going. I had to run back over. Well, no, I stopped it on this side actually. I had to run back over there to the other side and stop it there and then come back over there and stop. Two. I'm confusing myself, but you get what I'm saying. I thought that that controlled both sides, but I guess not. All right, so that 230 in gas, $230 in gas, I was at a quarter of a tank just under it, so now I'm just over half. Um, Because I have one more state that I have to go into, which means I have to at least approach past through one-way station. Y'all, it's only 57 degrees, but it's so windy that if I feel like I'm defrosting right now. Well, this is it up here in the 
my destination i'm parked i'm in the dock it wasn't much to see i just made a u-turn there's an area right over there that you can go and make a u-turn and then i came back this way oh my gosh is it always windy like this i can see oh of course it is you know i'm uh not far away from chicago and they call that the windy city so it's always windy up here y'all can have it you know y'all can have it this was a stressful drive just like it was a few days ago when i was in new jersey trying to get to where did I go? Ohio? Illinois? Indiana. Indiana, right? Oh, damn mercy. Anyway, I made it here. Thank God. Um, and then I'm about to do a 34 and I need to blow some steam. I need to relax and rest. And I already have my plea for... Bleh, bleh, bleh. I need water. I already have my plea, 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 plea. I already have my pre plan for my next vlog so i love being able to plan like that um right yeah so i think i'm gonna head over to our, I, I, yeah i'll just show you good lord i can't talk today <laughs> <laughs> 